Good afternoon, nerd friends. Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. Brand new programming box just got announced. That is right. If you follow the Hobby Wing Instagrams or social medias of any type, you probably have heard by now that there is a new multifunction LCD program box dubbed with Pro on the name, what you could affectionately call the G3 version of the LCD box. This isn't just an LCD box though, it also has Bluetooth built into it so you can use it like an OTA. So with the built-in Bluetooth, it is very much like they took these two units that we're all familiar with and kind of smashed them together to make this guy. And so this means you can do uh, speed control updates as well, and this will work with some of the quick run series which this guy wasn't able to do. So the latest generation like G2 quick runs that are coming out, you'll be able to use this program also. Uh, it has the normal connection stuff on the side, uh, USB-C, scroll wheel now to work all of that, and then the nice clicky save and back buttons. We're going to plug this guy in, hook it up to a couple speed controls and show you what So we've got this connected to an XR8 Pro. This is the G3, the latest version of the XR8, and it's connected via the side that says ESC. All the ports here are marked for orientation and plugged into the speed controls programming port correctly. Of course, the speed control is hooked up to a battery also. Smart fan, this fan's not gonna run, so that's nice. You get a power up screen and then you get right into your settings. Parameter settings are the speed control settings. You can look at the data that is saved inside of the speed control if your speed control has that. Some of the speed controls don't have data recording. Uh, your mode setting. Which... So we'll jump into settings first. To, uh, to do an operation, you click down on the button, which is nice. Get into system settings and language. You can pick between the different available languages. Change the screen brightness. You can turn the beeper on and off. And device information, you can jump here. It'll show you the speed control or the program box information. I'm using the back button to get out of that screen. And then you can reset the whole device as well. We'll jump back out of here. So mode setting is next, you jump in here. And this is where you can pull a profile out of the speed control to save to the box to put into another speed control that's the same exact model and update and all that fun stuff. And you can load them from the box to get ready to put them into the speed controls. The data record will show you the data that is saved inside of the speed control, and then parameter settings is where you get in to change the actual speed control settings. So let's see what we got for data record in here. So showing uh, whatever data the speed control has available, this guy will do max motor temperature as well as speed control temperature, as you see there, uh, current and the minimum battery voltage as well as your max motor RPM. And those do clear out of the speed control between runs, so you just see the, mo the, the latest run, if you will. And then you can back out of here, and we can get into the parameters of the speed control itself. And I'm down clicking on that button, in case we didn't mention that before. Get into parameters, and then you can use the scroll wheel to quickly advance through the settings and make setting changes as you see fit. Now, we're not gonna, we've done speed control settings stuff before, so we're not gonna get into that right. You wanna make a change, you bump it and it allows you to get in and scroll between the different settings that it has available. You select the one that you want and then you hit save and it brings you back out, back up to get out to the next ones. Do that again. We could turn the break or the reverse up, hit save, back it up. And then let's see. And then if you make the change here, you back up. It hasn't saved yet. You can go down here make a couple more setting changes, back up, and then hit save, and it'll save whatever changes you just made. You don't have to go back and do them save one by one. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll back up out of here and get back to our main screen. Next up, we're gonna look at the Bluetooth features. So I got my HW Link app installed on my favorite smart device. Tip hit connect, and then it's gonna be, I, just, I haven't connected this yet. So default password is always gonna be all eights. And make it remember it so they don't have to punch it in again. And then it connects. There was a little beep out of that guy too. It says it's connecting to the Bluetooth. And then once you get in there, you can do all the normal stuff that you would do with an OTA. Um, get into the speed control parameters. See all that fun stuff in there. And then if you need to do an update to the device itself, we'll talk about that real quick, because it is, you would think you'd go to firmware update to do all of the firmware updates for anything, but that's just for the speed control. To update the device itself, you can go through the settings in the app, settings of the Bluetooth module, and then there is a firmware update button right there that you can tap, and it'll list if there is an update available. Lucky for me, this guy is already updated. <coughs> 
Also, there is, as always, a LiPo checker in the end, and it goes all the way up to 8S. So if you're using this on helicopter speed controls, plane speed controls, you can check LiPos with this as well, just adding some more functionality to your device. If you don't like using your smartphone, this guy also works via the USB plug with a Windows computer and the USB link program that Hobby Wing also offers. You, you, unfortunately, it's only supported by Windows, not for any sort of Mac operating systems. And even if you try to run it like on an emulated Mac that runs Windows, it doesn't usually work very well. So you got to use like a real Windows computer. So we're now hooked up to a Easy Run Max 10. This is the G2. Power that guy on. You get all the same st stuff. Jump into parameters. Little buggy races across the screen, that's super cool. And once again, you get in and you can change through the whole series of speed control settings. So good stuff there. So that is just a very quick look at the all new multi-function LCD Program Box Pro or the LCD G3 with that we lovingly call it. This guy should be available for pre-order, if not right now, very, very soon. It just got announced a couple days ago and this is a very, uh, just a first look at one of the pre-production samples that I have. When I get the full uh, production box one. We're going to do a full unboxing, do a bunch of updates, work through all the settings kind of in detail, but this just is a quick way to get you some basics and show you how awesome this thing is. If you're watching this as this came out, there is a bit of a hiccup with the app on Android phones right now. We're working on it. We should have that posted as fixed very, very soon. So we appreciate your patience. We know there's been some calls, some folks have sent emails. So just we're working on it as quick as we can. Uh, it's been fun to say the least. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please shoot us an email, North America at hobbywing.com. In case you didn't know, we do a podcast where we give away a free Hobbywing combo each and every episode. It's called RC Stuff, powered by Hobbywing. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. Look it up on your favorite podcast service. Once again, that is RC Stuff, powered by Hobbywing. And as always, folks, thanks for watching another episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.